Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another Bandit 650 maintenance episode. This time I have a problem with brakes. The problem is here guys. When you pull the brake you feel a little resistance. It's stiff and then it suddenly goes, you know. So uh, you don't have a, a very good feeling, you know. Right now it is working, but uh, when uh, it uh, gets warm uh, it has some moments where it can be stiff and uh, during a 30 minutes ride it can be twice stiff you know and uh, it really doesn't uh, matter there is no rule but somehow when you are riding after an hour it's then again stiff and then it's easy to pull you know and uh, it is really annoying So basically what we are going to do, what uh, we are going to repair, uh, clean, uh, to be honest I'm not going to do it myself, uh, here it's my friend, uh, his name is Boyan and uh, he knows uh, very very much, I mean uh, he is uh, a kind of a mechanic and uh, a motorcycle lover and uh, I will show you uh, later a bit of his stuff here, uh, he is going to clean everything, uh, look at everything and uh, then we will see where the main problem lies. I mean, it could be that uh, it is only uh, a matter of uh, cleaning and uh, then after it will be uh, just uh, like new, perfect, you know, going smoothly. Let me show you what Boyan has here. I mean, his mopeds and uh, scooters and uh, all things that uh, he has here inside. Some very nice models are also here and uh, he is repairing them. Here we can see this is a Sax. Uh, not a very popular among uh, let's say mopeds or little bikes but uh, it is nice to see also such models. Here it's a retro scooter. You can see it. A very stylish scooter. Flash. And uh, Thomas automatic with uh, brand new tires. These are gonna be mounted very soon. What I already did guys. I uh, put the lever off completely and uh, lube it and then mounted it again. Some said that uh, here down you can see it, uh, this bolt can be a bit too tight and uh, I just uh, unscrew it and then I screw it back but I left let's say uh, half of a turn uh, and uh, it still didn't solve the problem. This is basically it and uh, the uh, brake pads uh, should go from left to right and uh, now we have to uh, loop the whole system and uh, then check if it's gonna work. We need a wrench socket number 5 to remove the uh, lower part of the system.
Here it's uh, the brake cleaner to degrease the, the whole system. And uh, now Boyan is cleaning the interior. Now he is cleaning the interior of uh, the system using the uh, paper. He is cleaning also the yeah. brake pads. We should put the oil here inside and uh, it is then flexible. A bit more oil there. We cut the fuse because it wasn't stock and uh, now it can uh, perfectly fit. Now we have to bend the fuse. Yeah. And now it's time to put it back and screw it. It is time to pump the brake, so now it is quite soft and we have to pump it till we can feel the pressure. We should use the torque wrench to tighten it <coughs> properly. The right side has the ABS uh, cable, so here it's the ABS system connected on the disc brake or uh, on the wheel. And uh, basically it's the same process here. I will need to change the brake pads uh, quite soon, as we can see here it is uh, quite a bit worn out already. This is all for now guys. This was. Uh, the checking of the brake system, the front brake system. We uh, removed everything and uh, looped, I mean oiled the uh, system uh, to uh, work smoothly. Uh, but uh, it is not yet clear if uh, it is gonna now work uh, properly. Uh, but I will let you know guys. So, uh, in uh, one of the further videos I'm gonna reveal how everything uh, is working. So, thanks for watching guys, please do me a favor and subscribe and uh, till the next one.